For this exercise, we're going to be modifying the previous program to create a simple login system utilizing an array of user objects. So the previous program that we used was our get info function where we had a form on our index page and it had two inputs. First one with an ID of username, second one with an ID of password. And then we had a button that when you clicked it, it would run get info. And what it would do is it would post whatever we wrote in there. Well, now what we want to do is we want to run a program that checks an array of objects, which is right here, to see if the username and password match up. And if they do, we want to tell them that they are logged in. If they don't match up, we want to tell them that they have an incorrect username and password. So this is a very difficult uh, project that I want you all to take a crack at. This could definitely take a while, um, 30 minutes, an hour, maybe even more, maybe two or three hours. I want you to try and figure this out. Feel free to Google a few things. Um, that's definitely a good option. You know, there's not a very good chance you're going to find the answer online. Um, you know, but you're going to find pieces of the answer online. And then you've got to put all of those together. So what I want you to do is pause the video here and try and figure this out. All right, so let's go ahead and make a few changes to make our login system work. First, let's make sure that this is working properly. So I'm gonna come in here, refresh the page, and I'm just gonna write Matt Brody. Click, and great, so my previous program is working completely fine. I'm actually gonna get rid of this console.log I do not need that anymore. I still need to gain access to the values of my two input tags. And next what I need to do is I need to loop through this array of objects to check if the username and passwords match up. So first thing to do of course when looping is to create a for loop, particularly because it's going through an array, i equals zero i is less than object people dot length i plus plus. Now we're going to write an if statement to check if everything matches up. So if whoop, username equals equals object people i dot username and password equals object people i dot password then what we're going to do is console dot log username plus is logged in all right so what we're doing here we're going to loop through each one of these three. So the first one we're going to loop through is this one. Username is Sam with a password of Codify. And if the input, which is right here, if the input or the username equals object i dot username, object i dot username is different from this username. It's this one right here, the first loop around. The second time it loops, it'll be this one. The third time it'll be this one. But since we're doing the first one, it's going to say, does the input match Sam? If the answer is yes, then it checks and sees, okay, does the password that the person entered match the password under Sam? Does it say codify? If the answer is no, then it runs through the loop again. If the answer is yes, then it says that the person is logged in. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Refresh, and we'll do Sam Codify. Great, so we got Sam is logged in. Let's try Matt and Academy. All right, so that worked. Let's try something that's not gonna work. All right, and that is not working. Now, a lot of people will initially put 
their error message out here, that's not actually what we want to do. Because if you loop through and put the error message out here, you'll send several error messages for every single user that you might get. So I'll show you really quickly. Let's say, um, let's say we did an else statement right here. Else console.log incorrect username or password. And I save it. So if I go back, refresh, let's clear this out. And I did Matt and Academy. Well, I got an incorrect username and password. Then I got Matt is logged in, then incorrect username and password. The way to avoid this is to actually put this console.log outside of the for loop. We're going to delete this. And after this happens, we're going to do return. Because return completely stops a function. So the second that a function gets a return, it automatically stops. So the second that this becomes true, you only see this one console.log, so you will not actually see this. If this is not true, you will never get a return. So you'll never see this person is logged in. So let's go ahead and test this out real quick. Refresh, clear. Let's go with Chris forever. And we just get Chris is logged in. Matt, Academy, great, and Sam, codify. And if I do it wrong, then I get an incorrect username and password. And that's how you build the basics of a login system.